what's going on. Today, we're going to talk about how uh, you've heard, you know, there's a slew of foreclosures coming when in reality, that's not really the case. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, when COVID happened um, and a lot of people went into forbearance, people assume that there's going to be a big increase in foreclosures. Um, but what actually happened from the data is uh, way different from that. Yep. So from the data, four out of five uh, households that were in forbearance, they worked it out just fine. And they either, um, you know, paid, paid the, uh, the money that they owed from the forbearance or uh, they worked out some sort of payment plan um, or, you know, they're still living there or they sold it and moved to somewhere else. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, four out of five people, they didn't do anything to their credit um, or anything of that sort. Yeah. So like, yeah, 44% paid in full, uh, 39% uh, worked out a repayment plan. Uh, and then, like you said, only one out of five um, actually had to either do a short sale or uh, are still figuring out what they're going to do. Uh, so, I mean, those numbers are a lot different than what you're hearing that everyone that goes in forbearance, how are they going to catch up? Yep. Um, you, you watch the news. It says, oh, there's going to be this whole slew of foreclosures coming. Just wait. The market's going to crash. That's not the case at all. Yeah. So when 80% of them can work something out um, and more than half of those are totally current and didn't have to restructure their loan or anything, um, we're actually in a pretty good spot. Yep. The, uh, I think it, it's kind of amazing that uh, there's still 15% of people that were in the forbearance, you know, they haven't really worked out anything yet. I would imagine that, you know, they're probably trying to work something out, mm -hmm. but uh, you never know. Uh, yeah. we, we could see those and, uh, you know, whenever, whenever uh, it comes to it, they may just sell the property um, anyway. So then it wouldn't even go into foreclosure. Yeah. And only 1.5 of all the forbearances actually are doing a short sale, mm -hmm. um, which is to avoid a foreclosure. So that'd be before foreclosure. 1.5% of them are even on the path to foreclosure. Yep. So, um, so I mean, you think of what just going based off of like a hundred, there's only one and a half people, one and a half households that are doing that. Yeah. So. So it's just good to know um, like what the actual data is saying about the market um, instead of like speculative and listening to the news um, and thinking there's some housing crisis when in reality uh, nothing has happened and no one's predicting um, a foreclosure crisis. Yep. Against popular belief, the news doesn't know everything. Yeah, it's actually kind of the opposite. In this case. <laughs> so. so, well, cool. That's all I got. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is some of the value you get uh, working with an agent that you know actually knows some of the market data um, and is rooted um, in some real kind of fundamentals rather than yeah. you know emotional stuff that you might hear um, maybe your friends or, or like we said the news. So yep. But I'm Larry. I'm Caleb. We're LNH Homes. Your agents that care. <laughs>